The opioid crisis impacts people of all walks of life, young, old, rich, poor, even those in the healthcare industry. For one East Tennessee woman, a nurse practitioner for decades, recovery was a second chance. And now, five and a half years sober, she's sharing her story. New at 530, reporter Ashley Sharp tells us she hopes her message can inspire those battling addiction and ultimately save lives. For the state of Tennessee's overdose prevention specialist, fighting the opioid epidemic is personal. No matter what you've done, no matter how bad it's been, recovery is possible. It started with her own fight and her own addiction. Snorting a half a pill turned into 50 to 60 pills a day. So if you put a uh, money amount on my drug habit, it was about $1,800, $2,000 a day. At one time owning her own clinic, the nurse practitioner loved her work and her patients. But after the divorce and death of her husband, a love for an escape came first. I was searching for something. It no longer becomes a high and feeling good. It becomes a fear of being dope sick. About three years of writing prescriptions to feed her addiction led to a breaking point. TBI raided my clinic. There was one gentleman there that showed empathy toward me. And I never will forget that. And it's the one time that I felt like, okay, this is it. I can find recovery. With recovery came withdrawal. But even in the face of consequence, Sherry knew she could only move forward. On my second year sobriety date, I found out I was sentenced to Alderson Federal Prison. My license had to be surrendered. After prison, Sherry started a new fight to get a job and regain her nursing license. Something she would come to learn was an uphill battle. People do give up on their dreams because... Uh, people don't hire people in recovery. People don't hire felons. Um, that's where I believe my journey is to be, to advocate for us. Craig Forrester of Recovery Resources says jobs give those in recovery purpose and direction. We've got to show them as people in recovery that, that we can change. And what that looks like is we show up early, we stay late, we bring a good attitude to work, and we can show a, tr a true transformation of what can happen in someone. People that are in recovery, when they're able to find a job, when they're able to feel self-worth, they will do better in recovery. Their relapses are less. Sherry's message that you have value even at your lowest point. Showing empathy and meeting people where they are is key. Um, and that's what it took for me. And she's one of the few to accomplish what many saw as the impossible, preventing opioid overdose here in our region. Plus, she finally did regain her license to practice nursing. It's an inspiration to me to know that, again, I am trusted in that field from the Board of Nursing. And that is a trust that I will not break again. Now, Sherry tells us that she fought to get her license and career back because she knew that so many recovering addicts do not. That's something she wants to change. She's also a harm reduction activist advocating that Narcan saves lives, making sure it's readily available throughout the region.